five-star weekend in Eugene. Dan Lanning hosted a massive group of visitors, headlined by a pack of five stars. We got DeCorey Moore, DJ Pickett, Jonah Williams, Michael Terry, Trey McNutt. They were all on campus at Oregon. Start with the number one wide receiver in the country, DeCorey Moore. Well, he's been there several times. Look, DeCorey Moore was committed to LSU uh, from – August of 2023 to May of 2024. So that was a long commitment for him to LSU. And during that time, we never took our eyes off Texas and Oregon. And he's been to Eugene four or five times now. Junior Adams, Dan Lanning, Will Stein, that coaching staff has done a phenomenal job of recruiting to Corian and his family. There's no question he loves Oregon, loves the offense, loves where they're at as a program, and always has a great time in Eugene. So Oregon cannot be discounted for DeCorian Moore. And talking to sources that spent time with them, they think they're in the middle of it. All right, let's talk about the trio of five-star DBs that were on campus. Five-star corner, DJ Pickett. Five-star safety, Jonah Williams. Five-star safety, Trey McNutt. Uh, which prospects do you think Oregon sits in the best shape with heading out of this weekend? Well, I think they lead for Trey McNutt at this point in the process. So he's still taking visits and not going to make a commitment till the fall, but he's been to Oregon three times now, and they've been tone-setting visits, and he had another great experience in Eugene this weekend with Dan Lanning and company. So I like Oregon for Trey McNutt, Jonah Williams, and DJ Pickett. They remain dark horses for, you know, with DJ Pickett, I like LSU at this point, but certainly Miami and Florida, depending on the seasons they have, uh, they have a chance to make a big run for DJ Pickett. And Jonah Williams, I like where A&M's at. You know, you're talking about a guy who's going to play football and baseball on the next level. A&M's playing for the national championship in baseball tonight. Uh, Mike Elko and his track record defensively has put the Aggies in a good spot, but Oregon's always been in this one as well. Uh, people that spent time with them think that Oregon's very much in it. So I think we got to continue to keep an eye on the Ducks for him as well. All right. One more five star to hit on, and that's number one athlete, Michael Terry, one of the most versatile athletes in America. He was in Eugene this weekend. Can the Ducks pull him out of Texas? They definitely can. This is our buddy, Josh. This is one of the kids that we've marked as one of the <laughs> coolest kids in the class after spending time with him at the on three elite series. And, he took his official visits to Texas and Texas A&M. And I think the big takeaway from those discussions is he wants to be used as a Swiss army knife on offense. And Texas showed him that versatility that he could be in Austin. And then A&M matched on their official visit. So what did Oregon do? Why don't you just ride around with DeAnthony Thomas? We'll take you around. We're going to use you in the offense the same way. And I think that really resonated with him. He had a fun time at Oregon. Dan Lanning and company have done a good job recruiting him, but DeAnthony Thomas was the one uh, helping showcase what Oregon has to offer and his potential in that offense. All right, Duck fans, let us know how you feel about this weekend. Comment section below. A lot of five stars on campus. Who do you think the Ducks land? Let us know.